guys welcome back to another mouse video we are facing victor bro is victor is he back i see people play the double burn on victor it seems very strong i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna play a different route this game we're not different you know we're still playing mouse but i'm playing with first strike cash back biscuit delivery uh jack of all trades mana flow absolute focus a max in queue this game gonna go for the black what is it? Black Fire Torch into Shadow Flame into Rabadon. Wanna try that path? Maybe, maybe, maybe Leandris. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Um, again, a lot of people ask why Q Max, guys. Q Max against champions with annoying wave clear. Now. Victor, you guys might be well. He doesn't have an annoying wave clear. Why would you listen? His E one shots, especially the second one, and he's kind of annoying early, which means he will gonna he's gonna have the most pressure, and going E max could work. But I'll it, it's kind of hard to describe. I'll see how he plays it out. If he doesn't play aggro, which with that I mean like basic attack the minions constantly and trying to shove me in, then maybe I can go E max. But if he plays it you know passively then uh, maybe emax it, it really depends on the victor here but like victors should have pretty much free um how do you even go we both went with a 15 gold nice wait shit <clears throat> The new first strike, you guys can see, you get 15 gold instantly now. Maybe a little bit less in longer trades. I don't even want to trade with this guy, actually. But I kind of have to if he walks up like that, no? I don't think I want that, to be fair. <laughs> I had minions on my side as well. Yeah, we Q Max, I guess. <clears throat> oh, that landed as well. Am I bouncing this one? Hey, not bad. I'll take that. I don't have pressure, my friend. Let's wait for the wave. It's coming in. We have to try to juke his uh, his laser though. The wave is coming very slow. Trade again here, but again, it's Victor. He doesn't really take a lot of damage. That's maybe a little bit unnecessary. Going for a trade there. You should, should just wait for the wave. The problem is with Mouse, it's just very hard to farm on the turret with the champion. We're not going to be able to take this. And the reason for why it's so hard, it's not so much about like... It's most about his burst, which is Q. Hits all, you know. Please. No, it's not going to shove. I'll just take it back, I guess. That really sucked. These guys were not happy. But it's fine, like before we actually become a champion, which is like, you know, a couple of items in, we will already ha be having a couple of points in Q. So, not really the worst to Q Max early. I like Q Max more than I like um, E Max, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's more consistent, right, with the, with the Q Max. Like, just because, like, 
most of the champions mid lane these days does have wake it doesn't matter if it's a melee champion like zed or talon they will always go for that hydra for assassins anyways so it's just gonna be yeah it doesn't really matter which champion phase these days you need like again in my opinion a more consistent way clear but like I, I think that's so bullshit though there's no way oh my that is so tilting whatever man I think it's so bullshit that he gets first strike on a, on a shield but what is been slain. Um, I'm kind of fuming now to be honest like look at my minions they all look folks in so many different shits actually pretty tough dude. I missed so many minions with that shit man my E like E does jack shit executioner sounds like a bullshit my, uh, my minions are literally not focusing at all when he's chasing me. It's so weird. I need help here. I kind of got too mad. Thing is like I'm taking damage. I'm taking E damage so I can free shove with my uh, my EW, but I can't really free shove because my the minions just ends me either by running around. Like either they run around like a crazy person, just wild and free, or my my uh, E does a bounce, you know. This is really really discouraging but this is fine like he freezes which is not even a freeze it's slow pushing to me might not look like it but it is and he's kind of low on mana so maybe we can get a plating to kind of balance out the good loss that's very good he wasted even more mana now if his jungle doesn't bail him out Does not have TP as well. Doesn't have sums, but whatever. He has biscuits though. Ooh. <coughs> Let's see if there's might be a. Uh, Land here. An enemy has been slain. No. Nope. Maybe we can go for a shove and a reset here. Can't really stay for plating because it's already kind of running back here, but it's fine. We kind of minimize a little bit of the CS gap. boots could help be helpful I could flash R I am willing to risk everything I promise uh, yeah this matchup should not be this complicated I mean with Lost Chapter but <laughs> kind of has been a little bit because he plays so aggro without like any punishment really but i also kind of entered a little bit of the big management by like trying to contest the shove and he freezes try to bait his e on the wave there you go that should be a free shove hopefully if the minions doesn't hit me nice i don't need it but i'll pop it so he doesn't take it Nice. 
Jeez. <laughs> so again, now, like you see, I'm standing so far out and I, I am pressuring him to E me or the wave. Pretty much like the same thing we always do. Pretty much the same thing with every matchup we face, except now with Lost Chapter again, we do enough damage so we don't actually don't have to stay in the wave. So we can just do this, beta Z, now we started to go for the wave a little bit, and now we don't have to, but you get, like this is just a tilting part sometimes with play miles, I guess. That should have been my push and my my uh, first strike, instead because of the minions she's running forward, when there's a melee champion right in front of it, it kind of cucks everything. Like what people don't really understand is Mazor is so much about our luck than any other champion. Well, not even luck, but just like you really need the shit to be working like it's intended. <clears throat> Still no ganks on mids. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, man. It is what it is. He tried, but Diego cut him off. A lot of people be like, I want to see you carry a game with Maz or whatever. I'm like, what does that even mean? Carry with Maz. Good guys, we finally ganked him again when he has sums. Maybe this time we can gank him again before he sums. 230, 125, shit. I'm definitely losing on the first strike at the department. That shit sucks. But it's like, what do we play Mazar for? What do you guys say? Do you play him to be top deal, uh, damage dealer? Well, then you're playing the wrong champion. Are you playing to kill one versus one? You're also playing the wrong champion. Champion is not made for those things, you know? We're playing Mazar to pretty much free farm and press R. And if my jungler doesn't gank, it's just very hard for me to kind of do that. Doesn't mean I'm going to be useless. It's just going to mean the game is going to be a little bit harder for us to actually be useful, no? We have this item now. Getting some points in my, my E as well. I haven't really cashed in a lot of first strike, but we're getting there. 234, now it's 167. I'm going to beg. I said please. I actually asked. Uh, nice. Okay, but don't make it obvious, brother. Yeah. That is just so obvious. Starting to play against or towards the um, the waves. Nice. And now with enough damage, we can hopefully get more first strikes with the bounce. Yeah, but it's just like I can go 15-0 in the lane if I have a jungler who like ganks me when I have R up, you know. But if it don't, then it's just hard because like we're not. It's very hard for us to. Very hard for us to um, pressure. We have too low range, and the risk for a ward is kind of low. Because our E doesn't do a lot of damage early on, or our Q, whatever. And we can't really one shot anyone. Nah, but this guy is just... I don't know. Alright. Your turret has been destroyed. 
Yeah, so it's really hard for me to be um, carrying games. It takes a lot for a Malzar to actually carry a game, you know. A lot of things has to go right. Once again, no sums on the victor. He's gonna have flash up now, again, unfortunately. Um, and then he's gonna flash away again. So we pretty much gank him every five minutes for the mid. Um, not much we can do about it. We just have to play it out. Like me not dying, that's a win. That's a win for Mazo, I guess. That might be a little bit weird to say. But in my book, we're winning lane. Even though he's a little bit CS up, whatever. We faced Victor early and we didn't end or we didn't lose too much farm. I'll take that. Could we have been like 3 or 4 0 here? Yes. Oh, look at him. I have our up, I have flash. We almost have uh, Infernal Soul as well, which is gonna be crazy. Okay. What do you guys think? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? I think it might burn. This game is bad. Alright, laning phase is over, which I always say, I think when you swap lanes, that's when your mid lane is over. And we went out with 10 CS behind, 1-0-2 against the victor. Hey, I'll take the dub. None of us did, did anything. I feel like the junglers also didn't do anything for us. But who do you guys think has an easier time setting up a gank, me or victor? Comment down below. First strike value, 283, 295. Well, he did, he was having advantage, but. Bog, wow. <laughs> look, look, look who got a kill, guys. Oh, Victor hiding in the brush. This guy is faker. Hide in bush. Again, now the lane is a little bit easier. Let's go for this, and now let's just build for Rabadons. Ah, uh, he's not that strong. Kappa is pretty strong. I can probably um, do something. I can press R against him. If I can get first strike with a full combo, I think I actually can kill him. No pun intended. We have only teleport here. Make sure to shake the uh, the uh, the brushes so we don't get caught out. Has happened a little bit too many times these days. Let's 
Looks like a 5 x 3. I can't really TP in here. I mean, Jax doesn't. I can't. Okay, let's just. He TP's bot. This is what I mean. Like, you should never TP to a turret it's so bad. They might be trying to flank me here. But they're a little bit too late. <clears throat> no, I wasn't. It was 5 vs 3, looking like a bad spot. If Jax TP'd, I would, but I can't TP in the middle, you know. I had a turret, maybe, but if I TP here, the fight was already here. Yon was TPing in, and Yon is way stronger than Jax. It's just, I don't think it was looking good. In my opinion. Because I need him to channel his TP first. If I TP in, they will just insta burst me down, no? We should play this slow, so I can push. We have TP advantages. If they wait, we win. No. Oh, this is bad. Well, I got the Yon. That's not good. Um, we had a good TP flank. Unfortunately, Yon just walked in. We did kill him, but we still lost the team fight. Um, yeah, that could have been good if we got that too. Literally, this soul. I'm not really sure how we lost that so hard though. <clears throat> and we caught out the Viego. So, this is a wrong weird. Let's go back top. He's level 15. He has two items. He's pretty strong. Drink has no flash. As if we can maybe catch the Jinx off guard here. She has no flash. Yeah. Sure about this one. Works. Not sure why Jax is um, here though. Not bad. Actually, not bad. 
he can't really turn. Uh, like, I don't have our. But I think it was not bad. He kind of wasted time there. <laughs> and Victor used hard. Just one man hard on me, not even on the jacks. So we got a lot of damage out. And we still managed to uh, secure the Nash. Alright, with three items now. How much AP do we have? Five, seven, three. Do I go for the Leanders here? I mean, they're not really tanky. Do you guys think I can maybe do something? Catch him off guard? Mind. Let's see so we don't get caught off guard. Get the watch out. Bruh. Second sight of the No. Holy. Oh shit, what is that? Bro. As you go, Drake, guys, please. Dead, but he might burn. You guys don't realize how much damage these two actually do. Like, literally, that was a one shot onto the Victor, and then I also killed the Yom with pretty much these three items. So strong. Under, like, people underestimate the damage you can do with these. I always take the Nash or the Nash the Drake. I'll take that in the end of the week. Wow. I think I need this though. Uh, like, I can't really be caught out or let them see me question is do i go with yandries or do i still just go void staff maybe i mean they don't have a mar okay it's kind of building a little bit she has like 43 jinx has 46 oh Opa. Shit. Uh, I could just go for a storm surge actually instead. Any better? Because we need that. We get flat penetration. Like we don't need void staff this game because of this one guy only. Uh, they, they can't take more, but it's my bad. I kind of forgot the owner. Oops. Um, we kind of defended the turrets, but we died for it. That's so bad. But I, I'm not worth a shutdown anymore, and we got the top wave shoved. Uh, I could probably ace that fight, to be honest, if I played better. The Yonar is cucked me. It's my bad. He went like he went from here to E Q or damn. I just I feel like if Nautilus is frontline there, 
and block damage. I, I could have, uh, I, like, because she was frontlining the Jinx. Could have probably munch out of her pretty easily. But it is what it is. Hmm. <laughs> be. We should play this slow though. shove this a little bit and then we can look for a Nash fight this is a little bit too early nope. I don't know man I don't know man, I don't know what we're doing. Look at that attack speed. All we had to do, wait for the mid to shove, let me show bots, and then we look for a fight or a Nash pick or you push top. Instead, when the wave is here, they're already fighting, getting caught out for no reason. There's nothing to pressure in the jungle there. So sad, so, so, so sad actually. Oh, this is just macro mistakes really, like, very very bad macro plays for my team ah, so simple to play that out like we have mid shoving supers don't don't walk in here we stay here literally here or even here like all they have to do stay here i i'm pushing bot they have five people if no one defends we keep pushing here they they have to force nash because they have to force my tp out and then we fight for nash pretty much five versus five now we literally just entered, lost the free farm mid, and Jinx is just even stronger. Now the game is looking grim. Because like they got Nash, a lot of shutdowns, and Jinx is very fed with Karma. And we can't really get to her, because Yone is kind of blocking a lot of our damage. And Victor R, you know, Diego is there. God damn, guys. Intense. Intense, but it's not intense in a way like they played good. It's just us playing bad. I think he's still alive. for me my dad might be wow crazy And now we're gonna miss out on the Drake fight. Finish, 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 finish! It's my bad though. Shouldn't have died in this last fight. Ah, 
guys thank you so much for watching um it is what it is i mean we tried i definitely feel like this play here was the the worst we did and then me kind of dying here is also very very tragic but thank you guys for watching sorry for the bad performance but we tried um i feel like we had the game under control until we didn't but um yeah catch you on the next one peace